Hey, what's up guys? It's Andrew, and today I'm going to be showing you how to turn your Amazon Fire TV stick into the ultimate media hub. Now we're going to be doing this by installing Kodi, formerly known as XVMC, onto the Amazon Fire stick. Now this is to be possible by installing it directly from the Amazon App Store, but since it got taken down, you're no longer able to install it that way. So we're actually going to be using a combination of the Fire Stick and a app on your computer. It could be ran on either Linux, Windows, or Mac. So you'll be sure to download the proper version for your computer on the full guide over at Gadget Hats. And after you have the app downloaded, you're first going to want to set up the Fire TV Stick to be recognized by your computer. In order to do that, from the sidebar, go down to the Settings menu, scroll over to System, go down to Developer Options, and enable both ADB debugging and apps from unknown locations. This is going to be um, set off by default, so just make sure to set it on, and then after that, you to head over to your computer. Okay, now that we've moved over to our computer, you go ahead and open up ADB Fire. This is compatible with Windows, OS X, and Linux, so just be sure to download and install the proper version for your computer. And the first thing you want to do is create a new profile for your Fire TV stick. So to do that, hit New and then enter the description for it. In this case, I'm going to call it Fire Stick. The address is the IP address for your device. So go to the go to, go to Settings, System, and under the Network tab, you're going to find the IP address for your Fire Stick. So go ahead and put that in that field. And after that, you're pretty much all set. The pull folder is for folder is for the folder where files pulled from your Fire Stick are going to be stored. You go ahead and leave it as the default value because usually you probably won't even use that. So then after that's done, hit save, and now you could actually install the APK. So to do that, hit install APK and then locate the Kodi APK that you can download directly from the guide over at Gadget Hacks. So in this case, it is in my downloads folder. So I'm going to go and install that APK and then hit yes to install it and it'll go ahead and send it over to be installed on your Fire TV stick. The progress bar at the bottom will indicate how uh, far along the process it is. Okay, now that the install is finished, you'll be able to push over the add-on that you're going to be installing to Kodi and then you're just um, to stream movies and TV shows for free. So to do that, make sure that it is still connected by having this little connected uh, notification and then open up terminal and enter the command ADB devices to make sure that it recognizes your Fire TV stick. You can see that right there it does. And all you have to do now is push over the add-on file. In this case, I'm going to be pushing over Phoenix. So you'll do that. Enter the command ADB push. And then you can just drag over the plugin that you want to push. And then enter the location where you're going to push it to. In this case, you're going to be to the download folder. Hit enter, give it a second to push the file over, and then you're all set. Okay, now that you have everything pushed over to your Fire Stick, you go ahead and open up Kodi. To do that, go to your settings menu, go to applications, down to manage installed applications, hit Kodi, then launch application. After the Kodi menu, go down to the system tab, hit settings, then add-ons, install from zip file, external storage, your downloads folder and then select the plugin that you want to download and install. Once that is finished, you see in the bottom right that it is letting you know that it is installing that add-on. And go ahead and install another add-on as well while that one completes. Now go back to the Kodi main menu, scroll over to videos, hit video add-ons, and you can see here that you already have your add-ons installed. To go ahead and get started with them and start streaming and watching your favorite movies and TV shows. Alright guys, be sure to check out the full guide over at Gadget Hacks for a full breakdown of this process along with your download links. And like always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one guys.